was joined by hundreds and thousands of other couples waiting in the rain. Many of you were here waiting to get their chance to get married. And you all, we all were joined by millions of Californians, straight, gay, black, white, Asian, Latino. We have been joined by them because we are not alone in this fight. We are not alone, but while I know we're all tired, while I know we've been fighting for years, we're asking all of you to join us one more time to do just a little bit more. Because we know that, as Dr. King said, that the long arc of history bends toward justice. So we And we know the people that we didn't reach this time, we will get next time, and we will win. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. So one more time, we're gonna ask for your help, and we hope that you will again join us all and stand by us so that we can come here to City Hall and share in that victory. Thank you. tonight not only to represent the faith community and some of the work that we've been doing to educate clergy and African American community, but I come as a member of the LGBT community to remind us of the hope, the faith, the spirit of resilience, uh, and that spirit that keeps us committed to the struggle that keeps coming back every time somebody has knocked us down. I guess they haven't gotten the message yet. Uh, I guess they still haven't figured it out. I guess they really don't know who we are. <laughs> the creators and proponents of Proposition 8 think that if they change the state constitution and take away the freedom and the rights of same gender loving people to marry, they think we'll just give up. No! no. Just throw in the towel. No! no. Gator's word that will lay down and die. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. We come this far to freedom and we ain't turning back. A resounding noise in the crowd, there were tears and hand claps, shouts of joy in the grand ballroom of the hotel, and we heard John McCain give his concession speech, and that Barack Obama had been elected the President of the United States. each other and smiled and I could see my grandmother's face, Amelia Jackson, born in Mississippi in 1900, a daughter of slaves who were freed at seven and eight years old. She died in 1991 and didn't live to see the day when an African-American man would become elected the first president of the United States. But when I saw Barack give his acceptance speech, I began to see and to remember in my mind the lessons about faith and hope that she and my mother taught me while I was in their lap growing up. Those lessons about holding on, not giving up, keep on fighting until change comes. Yeah. They have a sign-up sheet for volunteers to help Bush pack his stuff <laughs> out of town. <laughs> they always happy and inspired, particularly with their thought that Michelle Obama is going to bring a room of greens and sweet potato pies into the White House. <laughs> yes, my heart jumped when I thought about the work we've been doing over the last couple of months in the African American community of faith. And I was disappointed when I saw the results of Prop 8. I became worried about the dignity and pride of LGBT undergrad students at Lady College 
who are asking me, who ask me today, what the world's gonna look like for them. Then the thought came to me, if grandma and mama stopped believing and gave up on their dreams for their children and stopped working for a new day, the day and era of Barack Obama would never have come if generations before him didn't get turned, rather turned around and said it was over. You see this ban, this stuff about banning gay marriages, that's not about what's in or not in the Constitution. It's about trying to tear us down. They're trying to take away the amount of dignity and respect that we've built up. Those back in this legislation against same gender loving people think that if they change the Constitution, that will finally just be quiet and go away. No! No! The Constitution hope will just disappear. That will be so discouraged by the law of the land that will just back, just start fucking our tails, triple in our boots, cry with our mascara running all over. <laughs> know is that the Constitution didn't make us gay or lesbian. The Constitution can't legislate what we do in our relationships. If they write discrimination in the Constitution, we'll hang in there with our spirits and just change it and write it right back out. Yeah! <laughs> 